No way. Ain't no way. Get the hell out of here. Oh my God. L let's check this out. You saw the title. Come on now. We keep having this messaging coming out of these agencies, especially during the Biden-Harris administration, that, you know, there's nothing to see here. With regards to FEMA, they they are being now presented with evidence that they were treating people differently based on their partisan views. That is an incredible discovery in the United States of America. And so, of course, you're going to have to have an investigation. We're not going to wait. Well, FEMA insisting that the case of an agency supervisor telling relief workers to avoid Trump campaign signs at homes during disaster response is an isolated incident. Let's bring in the FEMA official who was fired over the incident, but claims she has been made a scapegoat. Marnie Washington. Marnie, thank you so much for coming on. I want to read this because this is from the FEMA administrator, Deanne Criswell. She said this and she's talking... We are watching this right now because I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw a small clip of this and I couldn't believe it when she said this. So here we go. About you. She said, quoting here, recently a FEMA employee departed from these values to advise her survivor assistance team to not go to homes with yard signs supporting President elect Trump. This was reprehensible. I want to be <laughs> clear to all of my employees and the American people this type of behavior and action will not be tolerated at FEMA. You say this is not your policy. You're not political. You don't care about the right or the left. You are simply doing your job and following your orders. So you're telling me these orders came from somebody above. Correct. And when I first uh -huh. reported to Florida, I was already on another team. I was there as a specialist. This was the culture. They were already avoiding these homes based on community trends from hostile political encounters. It has nothing to do with the campaign sign. It just so happened to be part of the community trend. When you focus in on the, um, the campaign sign, you are violating the Hatch Act. So that is something that FEMA definitely wants to stay away from because it was created in 1939, mm -hmm. and that was to protect citizens from being um, from being alienated based on their political stance. So just so we're clear, you're saying that basically FEMA was doing this out of safety. They were right. doing that because they had some adversarial conflicts with some people with Trump signs in their front yard. So they banned every Trump sign. They said, don't go to any homes of Trump signs. And if that's the case, why would they come down so hard on you? Why are you the scapegoat? Why are you the one they're saying was, quote, reprehensible for actually putting this in place when you did not put this in place? What's reprehensible is they're not being transparent. Why is this coming down on okay. me? I am the person that jotted down the notes from my superiors, and my notation in Teams chat was exposed from their surge capacity team. That's exactly what happened, and it's easy to then say, well, ha-ha, it's her name, it's her, it's her writing, Right. Give, mm. make her accountable for it. But I'm just simply executing, again, what was coming down from my superiors. Right, and I'm wondering, because it says things like when on this list that says avoid the Trump houses, uh, drink water, take rest breaks. So there's a list of things. You didn't come up with those either, no. right? No. So okay. you didn't come up with any of this list. Is Correct. that a fair assess assessment? Yes, sir. Okay, so the clip that I saw so far hasn't been shown. And out of context, it made it look a particular way. Let me see as this goes, if it'll... Because, see, this is the reason why you always need to watch stuff in context and not just take, like, a five-second clip or something. Like, see, see! And I'm wondering, how do you prove that, Marty? You're trying to, you're trying to, to save your reputation. How do you prove that, that this order came from above? Well, the last time I was that question was posed, I verbally called on all DSA crew leads and specialists that are still active with FEMA and, and former to come forward and discuss our avoidance policies, our de-escalation policies. Because to be honest with you, we don't just get just I know the highlight here is, is the Trump campaign signage, but if someone is in another, like an urban community and it's a different culture and someone feels uncomfortable, mm. we can't go to that home. If you have loose dogs and someone on the team is comfortable with dogs and another person is not, 
we can't go to that home because of safety precautions. So you fear the Trump houses, the people on FEMA were fearing the Trump houses like they were fearing people with, with vicious dogs in their backyard. Exactly. And just oh. and, and that's based on the See? based on the training. Ha, ha. We ask FEMA for incident reports. They yeah. have those because they ask us to report out if there's an wow. incident. Wow. This changes things. And the clip that I saw kind of made it look like she was afraid. And that's why she avoided the houses, but it was the higher ups that put this on the list. So he's saying y'all afraid of Trump supporters like you're afraid of people with yards with vicious dogs. <laughs> At home. Okay. And unfortunately, again, the passionate supporters for Trump. Some of them were a little bit violent. But all of them were all of them were painted with the same broad brush. All of them as being we're not gonna go near these because we think they're all bad people. No, because some were registered. Some did receive case inquiries and, and, and uh, updates. Yeah. Some of them came outside and said, hi, I appreciate what you're doing. I would like to participate. And then some were very vocal and firm that they didn't want anything to do with FEMA and mm -hmm. they thought that we were crooks. And, and lastly, we've got to go. I've got, we're running out of time here. Did this also happen in other places? This was Florida, but did it happen in North Carolina? Did it happen in other places? Georgia as well. Just ask the crew leads and the specialists. They will discuss their avoidance and their de-escalation methods in the field. Okay. And I think Ms. Chriswell would be happy to know what's going on, truly. Marty, okay. thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. All right, well, hey, click here to subscribe. She was to very nice, YouTube. professional, well spoken, and classy. Um, I, I would like more. I would like to know more about this. So they told them <laughs> that I find it interesting. So the only hostile people that they ran into were Trump supporters. Is that true? The only ones. Were with, with people with Trump signs in their yard. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But this is interesting. They put the blame on her. I'm sure, she's getting a hell a hailstorm of hate from the whole country. But she's like, nah, wait a minute. They scapegoating me goat me. Uh, I was following the, the the rules that they laid out for me on this piece of paper. Okay. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Let me know what y'all think. I want to know some more details on this. Like, I want to know, like, from all the teams, you're telling me not one damn family on the left gave y'all an issue? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, yo, know, I just want to know because it's kind of broad brush. You know, I've met people that love Trump and I know people that love Trump and they're not hostile. Hey, I love Trump. I'm not a, I'm not hostile. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm not gonna boy. Go here, FEMA! I'll need your help. I ain't gonna be like that. You know what I mean? So I know that I'm not hostile. That means that and I don't have no Trump sign in my yard, but that means that there are others that are not hostile. That's interesting. Post the comments down below. Let me know what you think, though. If you enjoyed my thoughts on this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!